Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 138. That is, what are different defect attributes? Let me answer. While we are reporting defects in different defect tracking tools or test management tools, we came across different defect attributes that have listed down here. Let me explain each and every defect attribute for you. First one is defect ID. Okay, it's one of the defect attribute. So defect ID will contain a unique number. Okay, it will be auto generated by the tool. Most probably once you report a defect in any defect management or defect tracking tool. Okay, after you submit the defect, the tool will generate automatically a unique number. Okay, the unique number can be used to identify the defect later. This is what is defect ID. Then we have the defect summary or title. So which is a brief description, okay, in uh, just few lines of uh, uh, few words, uh, you have to describe the defect, okay, in just few words, that is in a single line or something, you have to describe the defect, that is defect summary. Then we have defect status. What is the status of the defect, okay? What is the current status of the defect? Uh, when the software testers uh, report a defect, the status of the defect will be generally in new state in some of the tools. And uh, then if the, if the uh, team doesn't accept the defect that is reported by the developer, then it will be moved to the rejected state, okay, due to several reasons. Or if it is accepted, and uh, if it is accepted, it will be assigned to a developer, then uh, it will be deferred state, uh, if the defect can be fixed later. Then in progress state, if the defect has started fix, if the developer has started fixing the defect and uh, he may change the state from assigned to in progress, and once the developer fixes the defect, I will change it to fixed state so that the software testing team can test it and verify whether the defect has been really fixed or not. Once the testing team verifies whether the defect has been really fixed by developers or not, if they really found that the defect is really fixed, they will move it to the closed state. If not, uh, they will move to the, again, they will reassign back to the developers and uh, maybe the status will be in progress state later. Okay, these are the different uh, status of the defect guys. Okay, the current status of the defect will be mentioned in the defect status and will be changed by the testers and developers as per the current status of the defect. Then we have steps to reproduce. Steps to reproduce. Detailed description of the defect in the form of steps like uh, that software tester will be uh, writing the steps to reproduce in a step by step manner. Like uh, first, what we have to done do to reproduce the defect. What is the second step? What the user has to do? to reproduce this particular defect. In the step-by-step -step format, uh, the software tester will be writing the steps to reproduce. Detailed steps for reproducing the defect. And this uh, steps to reproduce can be used by developer to reproduce the defect uh, in her or machine, okay? And then we have the expected result. So after following these steps, what actual result the application should uh, result in? But what is actual result? But what is actually happening? This is the reason why the defect has been reproduced. After following these steps, Okay, instead of getting the expected result, we are getting some other result that some other result will mention in the actual result, okay? Since there is a difference between the expected and actual, the defect has been reported. Then additional information, apart from whatever the information uh, we have provided while reporting the defect, like defect, defect summary, step to, reproduce, uh, step to reproduce, expected result, actual result, right? If you want to mention, if you want to mention more information about the defect, like that will, that may help the developer in, uh, Okay, fixing the defect in a better way or something. If you have any other additional information about the defect, you can provide it here, okay? So then attachments, we have another section like attachments where we can attach the defect report. Sometimes we can attach the videos as a proof and all, okay? Then assigned to. So who are the defect is assigned to at this moment, okay? Sometimes uh, when the software tester reports the defect first, uh, it will be new state and uh, it may be assigned to some people and uh, Okay, assigned to the developer, respective developer. So then if the software tester uh, developer has fixed the defect, then the, uh, the developer may assign it back to the tester, okay? Assigned to will be changed by both developers and testers, okay? According to the need, to whom it has to be assigned to at that point of time, okay? Who need to take the ownership of this defect next? Based on that, assigned to will be decided. Then version, the version of the software in which the defect is found by the testers, okay? That version number we will mention. Then functional area. So in which uh, functional area, login functionality or logout functionality or search functionality like that, the area, uh, the function, uh, the functional area in which the defect is found in the software. Okay, that we have to mention. Fix it in build. Once the developer fixes the defect, uh, uh, 
uh, in which version of the software the defect has been fixed uh, will be mentioned by the developer in this field. Then we have the severity, okay? How, how severe it is, like it is a critical severity or high severity? What is the impact of the defect on the application, okay? So how much uh, severe the defect is? And priority, how much urgent it is to fix the defect, okay? Is an urgent, uh, uh, based on the urgency of fixing the defect, okay? How, how much fast, uh, in, uh, in what time we have to fix this defect? Uh, based on that, okay? Based on the urgency levels, we'll set the priority. Then reported by, who has reported the defect? That is which uh, software tester, okay? We have to, uh, automatically the tool will take this reported by whenever you're using some defect tracking tools, right? Uh, uh, because you, without logging into the tool, you will not be able to report, right? So it, the tool will identify that you are reporting and automatically it, it will update this field. You don't have to mention separately. And there are many other fields, guys, okay? These are the major ones, uh, major defect attributes but there are other things like test environment and many other, okay? Many other uh, attributes will be there. Test environment is one such kind of thing where uh, you have to mention in which environment you have found this particular defect. Is this particular defect specific to any particular environment or sometimes if uh, it's not specific to any environment, you have to mention all environments, okay? So these what uh, are the different defect attributes, guys? So hope guys, uh, you got the answer for this question and you'll be able to answer if you get this kind of question in the interview. That's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing entry question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.